Well, you may be looking at a pile of clothes or another mess that needs organizing in your home and think, where do I even begin? It's overwhelming and we could all use some guidance. Well, joining us is Michael Toko, professional organizer and owner of Michael's Precise Planning to help us strategize and make it happen. So good to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have you. <laughs> but now, we have some before and after photos yes. of what you help people accomplish. So this is a closet here. It went yes. from messy on one side to very neat on the other. Extremely neat, yes. yes. We, we did a lot of decluttering in that closet. Okay. Um, a lot of purging, donating. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. Okay. It took eight hours. Oh my God, imagine. <laughs> so let's look at some of the other ones as well. Now this is a, this is a pantry. I'm, I think my heart fluttered a little bit when I saw this. You know, I have to say I was proud of that pantry myself. <laughs> <laughs> they look great. They yeah, look great. same thing, a lot of purging. Uh -huh. um, getting rid of um, items that were expired, right. that whole yeah. thing. So we have to get into that because that's a big part of it, getting rid of the stuff that you don't need. But another thing is I think the hardest part of getting organized is actually getting started. Now, how do you suggest that we jumpstart this? You know what? I always tell people to think with the end in mind. Okay. I do that myself. So you think about the goal that you have set for yourself. So whether it's to clear the clutter, to have more function, mm -hmm. or to just not have to look for your clothes every, your uh, right. keys every day or what you want to wear every day. Organize with the end in mind. Okay. And then as you are going through the process, like I love music. So in mm -hmm. my home, we blast music, we clean up, you know, we organize on the weekends, we make sure everything's together. So you can listen to a podcast if you're not a music uh -huh. goer, a podcast. And then just doing one area at a time. So rather you start with the small drawer or the smallest area in your home, whether it's a closet or one room. Don't overwhelm by doing the whole house okay. at one time. I used to do that before I realized it doesn't work. Right, right. It's a lot. It's a lot, especially it's if one lot. closet can take eight hours. But we've got some really helpful hacks here that we, you know, get want to get into. Now let's start with these scarves here because I feel like they're all over the place this time of year. Because you know, one day I want my red one, I want my black one. So what is this that you suggest? So I like what this. I suggest um, for homeowners and just for people to save money because you don't have to always buy new products mm -hmm. so I always encourage people to repurpose so over here we have shower rings yeah, and what I've done is repurposed them by hanging the scarves and just looping them a few nice. times through the shower ring and hanging it on a hanger that can easily be hung in your closet mm -hmm. and not take up space so you don't have that big junky scarf drawer. Mm -hmm. um, I personally have a band so I do the whole cinnamon roll thing where you roll nice. it, roll it, roll it and tighten it. Yes. But that's another option where you can put it in your closet just nice and smooth with your clothes. Yeah, and I think like you'll remember, oh I didn't wear my pink one in a while. Exactly, okay. and then you can kind of rotate it to the end and create yourself yeah. a little system there. I like that, yeah. I like that. So now let's move on to risers. Yes, you like risers I from do. what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> so risers, I encourage, I mean, you can use them in so many spaces. Right here I have a demonstration of how you can use it in your cabinets. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, we crave more cabinet space. Yes. Um, so this is ideal for stacking your dishes. If you have the bigger items at the bottom, you can stack your larger ones on top by using a riser. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you want to check the measurements to make sure it'll yes. properly fit in your cabinet. Yes, and that's super important. Yeah. And I was looking at risers for my bathroom. And I was going to say, that. yes. Get you it can, all together. You can use one underneath your cabinet in the bathroom oh, and in the kitchen. So they, like they work that. for a lot of areas. Yeah. And now, what looks like a box of tissue is yes. actually... It is storing grocery bags. If you're anything like my husband, you think that <laughs> there's gonna be a grocery bag shortage one day. So you just keep them all and you don't need to because it just becomes, again, clutter. Right. It's an overflow. So you can actually repurpose a, a tissue box and just put, this fits about maybe 10 to 12 bags. It's impressive. And it's easy and you just roll them up nice and neat and just stick, stick them in there and it's easy to just take back out mm -hmm. and you're controlling, again, that overflow and that clutter. Yeah. Because there's not a grocery bag shortage. No, there's not. But I can't even talk about your husband because I do the same thing. Okay, so <laughs> there's a big intervention that's going to yes, happen. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> and finally, for your bathroom, when it comes yes. to curling irons and flat irons, because they just kind of end up all over the place. This looks like a really good hack. They do, yes. This is um, a, a magazine file. So it's a magazine smart. holder. Um, some people put files in it or, or their magazines. But when you, re you can repurpose this for your curling irons mm -hmm. when you 
have exhausted the use for yes. needing to store magazines. Again, I mean, they're not pricey, but you've already spent the money, you might as well repurpose it. I and agree. this slides very easily underneath your, your That's bathroom what cabinet. I was thinking. And yeah. they can be hot, but they're all to the side and not. But they're all to the side, yeah. All right, now we are just about out of time, but yeah. I have to ask you about your new TV show, yes. Chaos to Calm. Yes. Tell us what it's about. And I heard it's all shot here in Detroit. All in Detroit, yes. I love it. Chaos to Calm, um, season three on Aspire TV. Um, I am the host, and yes, we did all of our shooting here in Detroit. You'll get to see spaces uh, with Motown. Oh, wow. Um, House of Pure Van. I got to drink some wine that day. I love so. that. I love that. <laughs> um, you'll see the Parade Company, which was actually aired a couple that aired a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. the Parade Company. But yeah, just organizing businesses and residential spaces in Detroit. It was amazing. I love it. It's um, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern on Aspire TV. It. I love it, yeah. and it's all right here in Detroit. Right here, yes. I love so it. So that was the awesome part, being yes. right here in my hometown. So I yeah, love it. and giving us some shine. Thank you so yes, much for being with of us. Of course, appreciate you, Meredith. Over to you.